My name is Rowan Thompson. This is my story. I turned down spinal surgery because they said I couldn't ride dirt bikes. I'm Rowan Thompson. I got into FMX two years ago. I watched Crossing Demons as a kid and Brian Degan inspired me to do a free time motocross. All right, I'm uh, Jeff Thompson, I'm Rowan's dad. Unfortunately for him sometimes, I guess. Mm. <laughs> Rowan was born with uh, 22Q11. One of the symptoms of that is he's got congenital heart disease. I've had like two heart surgeries. Didn't have the valve between his heart and his pulmonary artery, so the blood wasn't getting taken to his lungs to get oxygenated. He had surgery when he was three days old. Open heart surgery at one and a half. and then he's had another open heart surgery at 15 years old, so just over a year ago. Mummy running since I was four years old. Motorbikes have been part of both my boys' life since they uh, were well, sort of three and five years old. We got a motorbikes in um, Exmouth, got them TDR50s. And just where we, our lifestyle up in Exmouth was all about outdoors. We'd go camping all the time. The kids always wanted to go motorbike camping, so we'd have to hook up the caravan and get the motorbikes down there. So they'd ride the motorbikes. Uh, once they got in the TDR90s, they'd ride them 35 k's through our camping spot through the bush and down, out through the tracks. And we'd get out there and they'd ride these bloody motorbikes around all weekend. And I was following around with the drone and the GoPro. So motorbikes have been part of their life. Another one of the um, symptoms of 22Q11 is scoliosis. So Rowan's got a quite a severe scoliosis. He's got three curves in his spine that are about 50 degrees. Due to his heart condition, we had to put the scoliosis operation off to put the rods in his spine because we decided that wait till his heart's all good, then we can do the scoliosis operation. Um, we went for that. We finally got that booked for February next year, which he's been waiting for how long for? Two, two years, yeah. Been waiting two years to finally get this. He's been talking about it for ages. Uh, we're getting to the surgeons to do the, to do the last sort of catch up on, on how the operation is going to go, what we're going to do. Halfway through that, the surgeon says to him that once he's had this uh, surgery, we have to give up the motorbikes and I sort of looked at him and knew what was coming next and he <laughs> just looked at the surgeon and said I'm not doing it. The doctor said if I had surgery I wasn't allowed to ride dirt bikes. What were you thinking like when the doctor said to you, you can't ride dirt bikes? I was like I was like get fucked. <laughs> yeah it was a pretty tough decision wasn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was, a, it was a tough one for probably Nonny and myself because we've really wanted to see him get this fixed for a long time and it's been something he's been talking about for a long time. But once we found out that there was no more FMX, no more motorbikes, we knew this was going to be a tough decision for Rowan, but apparently it wasn't. He just said, no, he will stick with the pain and stick with the spine and keep his motorbikes. So. And he's fine, all right. <laughs> when we moved down to Bustleton, we happened to meet, uh, meet Lawson. Lawson got us out to the ramps and once we got on those ramps, then we met, met you, Mob. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, and I guess the rest is history after we sort of hooked up with the Unique team. We've got Rowan with Be Unique and Jake with Unique Racing and now he's just stuck with us, so. <laughs> <laughs> but once Rowan got into FMX, that was it. There was no, there was no turning back. It, it really changed, changed your life, didn't it, mate? My dream is to go into X Games. He went from Xbox to all he wants to do now, all he watches, all he wants to do is ride that bloody motorbike. And so now we're... Your fault. <laughs> yeah, it is my fault. <laughs> So now we're trying to save up and uh, 135's coming next and bigger jumps and bigger tricks and... More injuries. No. <laughs> Is there anyone you'd like to thank for supporting Rose so far in his whole journey? Yeah, I'd like to thank myself and my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Only sort of put up with me because I'll, I'll spend whatever it takes to get, to get my boys riding. Be unique. You know, what you guys have done for us and the support you've given Rowan, I, I can never thank you enough for it. Um, and, the, and the crew, like Lawson, uh, Full Send FMX, going out there, it's really, it's changed Rowan's life and it's changed our life. And, you know, I've spoken to you guys several times about it and, um, yeah, could never thank you enough for, for what you've done. FMX and motocross is our life now. Another big shout out goes to Nick. We're at the Mutiny compound now and the amount of effort Nick's put into this place to get these young riders an opportunity to ride. It's, it, it's so hard to, 
to find anywhere to ride, and that's been our biggest struggle, uh, is finding places to ride. Motocross, you've got tracks everywhere, we've got memberships, so it's easy. FMX is not an easy thing to, um, to get the kids into, and um, having places like Mutiny Compound and the Full Send FMX Compounds, are, they're, they're just priceless, it's awesome. Check him out, watch his progress. Big Dog underscore FMX on Instagram, and there's a link in his Instagram profile to the YouTube channel, which is in its early stages. But, um, once we get some more videos, we'll crack them up there, and yeah. If you can be fucked. Thank you guys. Cool. That's it. Done. You don't have to come back on again. <laughs> Fine, man. And now we just have to edit it. That's it. Watch the bottom of the foot. Yeah. Nice. 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 Awesome. Now you can go, you can go and fall asleep in your chair now, bro. Yeah.